वेलकम टू द सेशन हाई परफॉर्मेंस कॉन्क्रीट दिस इज प्रोफेसर सी जी कोनापुरे डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग फॉलचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर नो एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ हाई परफॉर्मेंस कॉन्क्रीट एग्रीगेट्स यूज फॉर हाई परफॉर्मेंस कॉन्क्रीट मिक्सर्स ऑफ हाई परफॉर्मेंस कॉन्क्रीट मीन सम ऑफ द प्रपोशंस दीज आर द लर्निंग आउटपंट आउटकम्स फॉर high performance concrete now let us see uh, what is uh, high performance concrete the concept high workability high strength high density low permeability and resistance to chemical attack this is the first concept uh, involved in uh, high performance concrete high performance concrete is also high strength concrete but it has few more qualities even by densification and straining of transition zone many desirable properties can be improved now the fourth one is uh, reducing the quantity of water is the fundamental step for making hpc now hpc uh, high performance concrete i will designate uh, as hpc next thing is use of mineral admixture is uh, necessary in case of high performance concrete so why it is required it is required to improve the quality of transition zone so for that purpose use of silica fume which is one more uh, mineral admixture uh, it is to be used and it is necessary transition zone means the zone between aggregate and cement paint which is nothing but uh, the pond also now the second mineral admixture best quality of fly ash that mineral admixture also we can use third one more mineral admixture is this uh, ggbs ggbs is ground granulated blast furnace slag so silica fume fly ash ground granulated blast furnace slag these three mineral admixtures are generally used in high performance concrete now all these materials when cement is used mineral admixtures are used and if uh, these three uh, mineral admixtures which were explained earlier uh, statement if all these combinedly used then the water demand will increase so all these materials required increased water demand in that case we need to use this chemical admixture use of chemical admixture is uh, now compulsory in case of hpc so chemical admixture specifically use of appropriate super plasticizer is a key material in making high performance concrete so super plasticizer actually which disperse all the ingredient particles in the concrete so which uh, will disperse and based uh, on that dispersion uh, the workability of uh, high performance concrete can be increased second thing compatibility and optimum dosage of super plasticizer shall be designed now whatever super plasticizer is used whether it is compatible for that concrete or not then uh, once it is compatible okay then optimum dosage of that super plasticizer which required to increase the workability of that concrete that optimum dosage shall be designed now next thing is the uh, aggregates for high performance concrete in normal strength concrete the strength of aggregate by itself play a minor role in case of normal strength concrete aggregates uh, are important but the strength of aggregate is, uh, plays a uh, minor role when it comes to hpc where the bond between aggregate and cement paste is so strong that results in significant transfer of stress across transition zone so this bond between aggregate and cement is very important and it must be strong means the entire load or stresses that must be transferred through transition zone to the aggregates 
strength of cement paste is higher than the strength of aggregate because of low water cement ratio. In case of normal concrete, the strength of aggregates is more than the matrix or mix of the or cement paste. But in case of high performance concrete, strength of cement paste is higher than the strength of aggregate. This is because of only low water cement ratio. When the water cement ratio is reduced, the paste becomes very hard. Now the key question in this uh, presentation is what is the aggregate size used for high performance concrete. So just uh, you pause the video and uh, answer uh, about this what is the aggregate size for HPC. So here the explanation is given. Practical experience up to 100 MPA maximum size of aggregate we can keep 20 mm up to 100 MPA. If your concrete is having strength more than 100 MPA, then 10 to 12 mm aggregates can be used. Shape, crust aggregates can be used, cubic crust aggregates. Now many instances, the strength of aggregate particles has been found to be factor that limits the comparative strength of the high performance concrete. That's why the aggregate size is important. Now the last important point which is disadvantageous for HPC that is the more flaky or elongated materials decreases the workability and also the strength. So flaky aggregates, elongated ag aggregates, these are generally in case of normal strain concrete uh, also reducing workability of the strain. But in HPC that reduction in the workability and strain due to this flaky and elongated material is very large. Now these are some typical mixtures, typical HPC mixtures used in some important buildings in US and other countries. So this reference is from a uh, uh, MSJT book. So we will discuss only these first and second mix. Now we can see water which is used to produce 1 meter cube of concrete water requirement is 165 kg per meter cube. Cement used 505 kg per meter cube, fly ash 60 kg per meter cube, coarse aggregate 1030 kg per meter cube, fine aggregate 630 kg per meter cube. Now this water reducer we can see here is uh, 975 ml per cubic meter means uh, 0.975 liters per cubic meter that much. Uh, water reducer is used. If you see the water cement ratio, water is 195, cement is 505, water cement ratio is near about 0.35. Now this mixture has given strength at 28 day 65 and uh, again it was checked at 91 day. So strength gain is uh, again observed and that strength is improved up to 79. MPA. Hmm. Second mix you can observe here you, these are the uh, weights of these materials given. Just the thing is the difference in first and second is water cement ratio is little increased that is 0.37. Super plasticizer that is used, retarder is also used. So the difference in first and second mix is uh, use of chemical admixtures. Okay. Now the strength at 28 day for the second mix is 80 MPA and at 91 day it is 87 MPA. So here, here you can uh, see these five buildings which are constructed by HPC, Water Tower Place, Chicago, Joint Me, Bridge, France and some other structures. These are the references uh, which are used for this session. Thank you.